Superlek is the epitome of an elite nap moi. To have been stopped only once in over 160 fights says everything about the fighter, and that was a doctor stoppage due to cuts, meaning he has never been knocked out. A fighter of the year and former stadium champion, Superlek is about as elite as it gets. He knows when to be aggressive, coming forward with spearing elbows, clashing into clinches. Whilst on the back foot, disrupting his opponent's rhythm with teeps, while all the while scoring with kicks. Against aggressive opponents like Pontene, known for being a big puncher, Suplex started slow with a tight high guard, gauging the power and speed of his opponent and taking reads. Once he was comfortable with the timing, would he begin to launch his own attacks and counter techniques. He uses a variety of defences, sometimes he blocks and sometimes he evades, making it very difficult for an opponent to set up clean shots. This is the main reason for him never being knocked out. He has adaptability and he will adjust his game based upon what his opponent gives him especially when dealing with other elite fighters. A trademark of all great fighters comes in the ability to anticipate an opponent's counter-attack and defend it. When up against other elite ties with hundreds of fight experience, this is a vital skill. Suplet will manage distance by being all the way out or will come all the way in, tying up into clinches and smothering his opponent's work and only flying their attack. In his bout of the elbow zombie, Muang Tai, Suplet would use cross blocks bringing the lead leg across the thighs of Zombie to block his knees whilst tying up his arms and preventing the elbow. He would use his legs as a block instead of teeping, holding out in front of him as a barrier between the two men, preventing Mung Tai from being able to bridge the gap and land his infamous elbow techniques. Suplek has fantastic dexterity with the leg and will often turn round as kicks or knees straight into teeth, preventing his opponent from firing back with a counter. It is slick stuff and it makes Superlek a difficult puzzle to solve. Suplek is known as the kicking machine and his round ass kicks are lightning fast. Both men just seeing what each other has to offer. When facing opponents that also possess excellent defence, the speed isn't enough and he has to be crafty in order to score clean. Much like his one championship counterpart, Nongo, Suplet utilises hip feints and staggered rhythms in order to get through an opponent's defence. He will kick to the leg and body with frequency, breaking opponents down scoring points and enabling him to mount more devastating combinations. When facing opponents that on paper present less danger, fighters with lesser experience or aren't known for being big hitters, where Suplek is confident he is stronger, he comes out aggressively pushing the action. One of his most dangerous techniques is a spearing elbow to split through the guard of the opponent. It is a technique that is difficult to defend, but also one that requires the fighter to throw it with full commitment with it being such a close range move and one where the distance has to be closed quickly. He has several wins by knockout utilising it. But if nothing else, it causes intimidation and puts opponents on the back foot. When Suplek is on the front foot, He's at his most dangerous. He throws with bad intentions and full force. And when you combine that with his shot selection and fluidity of his combinations, he's a terrifying adversary. Due to his experience fighting at the highest level, Suplet fights without fear and absolute confidence. In one championship with the four ounce MMA gloves used for Muay Thai, Suplet is a wrecking ball, but he has struggled to have as much success landing the knockout due to the cage. The circular shape makes it much more difficult to cut opponents off and keep them in front of you, as they are able to literally circle off using lateral footwork to escape and get back to centre. He had some frustration against Elias Enahachi due to this, 
losing a decision, fighting for the one kickboxing title. With the scoring criteria slightly different than the kickboxing rules, Suplet failed to get the nod from the judges, with Enahachi using evasive footwork and boxing to edge it. The more experience Suplet is able to get in the circle, the more dangerous he's going to become, especially when in small gloves and under Muay Thai rules. Suplek is a pound for pound great. He truly is one of the elite, and I look forward to seeing him progress over the next few years. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and check out the other videos on the channel, such as breakdowns of Rodtang, Nongo, and Yadvitcha. Catch you later, pro striking out. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner from the blue corner, Superlac Mugao!